How do you decide if a dog is a dangerous pit bull terrier or some other breed? That question is at the heart of a growing controversy about the Dangerous Dogs Act, introduced after a series of horrific attacks on children and adults. An unregistered pit bull can be destroyed, but not if the owner can prove it's another breed. Critics of the Act want the definitions clarified. They say the wrangling has already cost the public £2 million, as the lawyers argue and the dogs languish behind bars. This dog has been impounded for over a year. Bess was seized from the family home after her owner was accused of keeping an unregistered pit bull. Last Friday, a court had to decide if she's a pit bull terrier or not. They had a search warrant, um, but one bobby was rigged up in all these uh, protective gear. They had two like gas cylinders in which to spray the dog. They took Bess away to the local dog pound, and there was my dog in this little um, two and a half, three foot by six foot cage. When I seen her, I couldn't help it. You know, I, I just sh I shed tears. Good girl. Hello, babe. Good girl. Unlike most owners charged under the Dangerous Dogs Act, Bernie and his girlfriend Lisa were allowed to visit their pet every day. Bess. Bess. Hey. The crime which I was so called to have committed was owning a pit bull terrier. Uh, that was all. There was never any question of it going around biting or being dangerously out of control. <laughs> If the Crown Court hearing doesn't go my way, then I face either a £2,000 fine either or six months imprisonment. Um, I definitely face um, a criminal record. I also um, face having my dog destroyed. Um, that... I mean, I don't even like to think about, you know, my dog being destroyed because of the feelings that I do have for the dog. To prepare for his court case, Bernie has called in experts to judge whether Bess is a pit bull or not. The other measurement James Alcock, a vet, is an expert in bull terriers. They make a big point with pit bulls that they've got folds of skin here to allow them to wrestle. Yeah. And of course, a thick skin. Well, I can't see any folds. No. I've got more wrinkles than she has. <laughs> Sit. Bess. Sit. Bessie, come on. Give it to me. Drop. Drop. Good girl. Uh, all in all, I think she's a Staffordshire cross something fairly long. Uh, I don't know, greyhoundy cross something. I can well believe that somebody even sold her to you as a pit bull. I think you were sold a pup. The Dangerous Dogs Act of 1991 followed a spate of attacks by pit bull terriers, like the one on six-year-old Roxana Khan. The public outcry forced the government to act quickly. Our specific involvement in the act came about when the Home Secretary of the time, Kenneth Baker, called us in and very unexpectedly said across the table to us, we are going to kill every pit bull terrier in the country. That came as somewhat of a surprise. In the following week, we, together with the British Veterinary Association and a range of other organisations at the front line of dog welfare and dog control, said to the Home Secretary that that policy was crazy, it was not going to work, and we managed to head off that particular thrust and so that uh, the act became the phasing out of the type of dog known as the American Pit Bull Terrier. Because they wanted to stamp out illegal dog fights, the RSPCA at first helped enforce the act. Pit bull owners were given six months to register and neuter their dogs, and those who didn't were targeted by the police. But now, the register of exempted dogs is closed, and anyone with a dog resembling a pit bull can find themselves on the wrong side of the law. After long discussions with the government, we have decided that because this act has got many unjust elements about it. It is necessary for the RSPCA to pull out. I personally believe that there should be a Dangerous Dogs Act. The essence of the law is a good thing. We see horrific attacks on children, on grown-ups. 
yeah, it's too strict in, in the way that innocent dogs are now being taken away from their owners. Everything now rests on my appearance in the Crown Court. It's, it's make or break. The problem with the Dangerous Dogs Act is it's not working at the moment. There's a lack of definition in the Act, which means that a large number of dogs are coming before the courts, which Parliament, I hope, never envisaged would come before the courts. Their owners are receiving criminal convictions, people who wouldn't normally be before the courts. Dogs are um, kept away from their families for months on end, and it's costing the taxpayer an enormous amount of money. The court took two days to make a decision about Bess. Finally, Bernie was cleared of keeping a pit bull terrier. I'm no dog fighter um, or whatever. I haven't got a pit bull terrier. I never thought this would happen to me. But, but this has happened to me. I'm just Joe Bloggs nobody. My dog is, has been on death row for a year now and I'm just going to go straight over now and take her back. The Act needs amending and it needs amending quickly. The obvious amendments are the removal of the mandatory destruction order. I'd also like to see the register of exempted dogs being reopened. Yes. Hello, baby. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a good deal. Hello, baby. <laughs> I heard today that it was, uh, it's cost the police £20,000. It will probably cost in that region on the defence's side, as well as all the court proceedings and everything. It's a lot of money you're talking about. I think it's a total waste of the taxpayers' money, and the taxpayers should be getting angry. I mean, dog lovers, dog haters. This is their money that's being spent in this way. Yesterday, two Conservative MPs put down a motion criticising the Dangerous Dogs Act. Around 800 dogs are being held, awaiting court decisions.